So Christmas just came early for my 4C4Z 5G LTE queens. Are we talking texture? Okay, because I'm bringing it. Her Given Hair has launched their headband wig, which features human hair that best mimics the texture of my natural hair queens. Okay, the ones with the kinks and the coils. And if you're someone who doesn't know where to begin or you're looking for style inspiration, I'm going to show you everything you need to know because this is jam-packed with style inspiration and hair care tips. So definitely make sure you stay tuned. So when you first get your wig, I know you're going to be excited. But heed my advice, take that unit and saturate it with water in preparation for the co-wash step. You definitely want to use a super hydrating conditioner and allow your unit to set for anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. And this is also a really good time to detangle. Use a little bit of water, use a brush if you can, a detangling brush more specifically, because that will get these curls together so that you see your true definition. But also expect some shedding because this unit is very, very tightly coiled. Now this is the unit soaking wet after I rinse the conditioner and the curls are popping. So if you want it in its natural state, no manipulation, this is exactly what you can expect. I would say moderate volume, not as much curl definition, but you know, I'm gonna take you on this journey so you guys can see exactly how I get these curls popping. Now I like to work in smaller sections so I don't get intimidated. Mm -hmm. So I'm first gonna go in with some hair oil. You can use any oil that you have on hand and I just like to apply this to the section as a whole and then go in and work with this detangling brush to make sure that I distribute it evenly, coating as much of the strands as possible. The Aussie Miracle Curls Leave-In Detangling Milk. This is a life changer. It's a drugstore favorite of mine. It is one of the best for accentuating and defining those curls. Now, the brush that I'm using, it helps to take the curl definition to the next step. And when you guys see, I'm holding the hair taut, but I'm also making sure that the brush is sort of like perpendicular on an angle to the length of the hair. And I like to use a lot of the leave-in detangling milk. I get real heavy-handed, and I found that honestly, I'm using medium sections here, but it's best if you actually break them down if you want super coily hair. This is a texture of about 3c 4a and it's about 16 inches so the way that i define the hair it may appear slightly shorter but one thing i noticed about this once you allow this hair to dry it increases in volume so this is how it looks after i worked the product through all of the hair and i love the curl definition this is like for someone who wants moderate volume but still likes curl definition i'm telling you these curls are dripping like jerry curl juice vibes to the fullest Oh, but we're not dripping. I just wanted to, you know, create a little image in your mind. Next up, I'm going to take a bit of avocado oil and I'm going to apply this to my scalp and my natural hair. So some of the products I'm using, when you use them in excess, they can create some residue. So the oil just helps to kind of prevent it from caking up on the hair. And I'll be using the Style Factor Edge Booster in the Lemonberry scent. This is one of my favorites. And like I said, I'm gonna be super heavy handed. And again, you wanna really work this into the hair. You don't wanna just like put globs on, you wanna use a brush to help kind of move it through the hair. And also my natural hair has been moisturized, which is really, really important, especially when using gel because it typically dries your hair out. Next, I'm going in with the Braid Barbie Drip, and this is in the Firm Hold. And I'm gonna use this for the little teeny bit of edges that I have, like the very beginning of my hairline, just to do like a little, a minor adult swoop. And I'm gonna take this section and create like a plait. So we smash down the hair at the front, but we're gonna like braid and or twist the ends. I actually did a twist toward the ends of my hair. I like that a little bit more than braids now, so little tip. If you're dealing with like 5G LTE hair, I see you sis. Make sure you give yourself time to allow this to set. So yes, take out that silk or satin scarf, maybe even a bandana and let that hair sit. And you guys see, I am going to tuck the ends into the wig cap at the back. I would say wear a black wig cap if you can, just to match the interior of the headband wig. And like I said, don't skip the step where you add that satin scarf. If you wanna be clockable, you go ahead, but we're not doing that over here. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, sis, 
we're laid, slick down. I love it. Now moving on to the unit, this is a headband wig. It's a machine weft made unit. It has a comb at the crown and it also has combs on the left and right sides as well as at the nape along with adjustable straps. And there is a Velcro attachment. So this is how you're gonna secure the unit to your head. Now I have a head circumference of about 23 and a half inches. So this medium size is working for me, okay? Fits snug. If I could be honest, I wish the headband portion was a little bit more elastic so it could like really snatch up in there and be super, super tight. And I wanted to show you guys, you can insert the combs at the crown and the left and right sides. I'm just doing this to show you guys the motions. I will not be using the comb at the crown. I do not like to have breakage in that area. And again, at the back, you can attach it via the Velcro, but there's excess Velcro at the back so it kind of sticks out. That's the only thing I really was not feeling. But overall, right off the bat, sis, I'm feeling it. Now what we're about to do is we're out to have fun. So they sent me a ton of headbands and scarves, wraps, everything. Now this one was gorgeous. I love the print. It's not as stretchy as you might think, but this is actually preferable for this particular style because it keeps everything in place. Your hair is not going anywhere. And I wanted to play up this look. Again, I'm all about style inspiration so you can envision yourself. You have that style inspo so you know. You can slay this all on your own. It's all about how you play up the look with the accessories, okay? I'm not about being boring. Switch up the earrings, you know, you can make it corporate, you can play it down, you can make it a little bit more chic, more edgy with some glasses. You have options. We're moving into a more vibrant headband color and this is speaking to my whole personality. I love the bold color in the print, but I wanted to take it down a notch, put some studs on, you know, and then give you a little bit of edge with the glasses. I'll have these linked below. We love this look. Cute aesthetic. Now, did I mention they sent me a ton of scarves? And so, you know, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get these all together. I just love how bright and vivid they are. Beautiful. So definitely check out their website. Now I just folded this scarf up and I wanted to create like a headband but create a tie at the front. Again, you can play this up however you like. I'm all about the versatility. And you guys, let me know which style you're feeling, which headband, which scarf are you rocking with? What could you see yourself slaying? Because it's all about you. Okay, I'm on vacation. Okay, I'm not even here doing this tutorial. I'm on vacation. Okay, that's what this vibe is giving. Now at the intro, you guys saw I had one of the scarves kind of wrapped like a headband, but like with a bow. So I'm showing you guys kind of like the motion. The more that you do this, the better you'll get. So this is sort of like an elongated headband and basically it has some stretch and it's like open on both ends and you can use this to create like that fine apple, that pineapple and updo, sort of like that cascading hair from the top. You know, you could lay it on the left or the right, but this is it. This, I love this look. Now, because the hair is still a little bit damp, it's not gonna have the maximum volume, but give it some time if you wanna like fluff it out a bit using a comb. Now I'm just playing around with this step. I just wanted to pull the hair up into a bun, but be mindful, this does kind of shift the back of the wig upward. But I just used an elastic band scrunchie and created this little ponytail. And then I opted to tie the scarf towards the front. So the knot sits right at that middle part. And again, you could tie it at the back. And once you fluff up those curls, you situate the hair, you have another look. I don't know how many looks I gave you guys, but you could slay throughout the entire week, okay? Now this one, I was gonna do the half up, half down. Now because this is 16 inches, and again, my curls are very tightly coiled and the hair is still damp, I wasn't getting the maximum volume. So definitely do this style with the hair fully picked out. Maximize the volume as much as you can because it'll look a lot better. And then you can use a headband. For this, I opted to use a scarf. I love the colors on this and I love the texture, like the feel of it, it's just gorgeous.
this is easy enough for anyone to do we're gonna ditch the lace fronts as we move into fall as well okay we have options we can do protective styles we can save our edges and we can give looks throw and go type easy okay so definitely let me know what was your favorite look check out her given hair i have the links below in the description box subscribe join the family it's very little over here okay and let me know when you do i love giving you guys a nice warm welcome share this with your homeboys and your homegirls kiki with me in the comments and i hope i see you in the next one <laughs>